Start on the ground with Mims, and Mims makes a nice move to go ahead for 14 yards. Jordan Mims. Very effective there at the running back spot. Hayner, his first pass of the day. And he gets it complete right away as he gets it to Eric Brooks. Young group, we'll get to that in a minute. But you see those young linebackers climb up on play action. Wide open and right in is Zane Pope. A brilliant opening drive by Hayner and the Bulldogs. From that air raid system implemented by McCoy. The wide receivers coach and the offensive line coach. And Ward is sacked. Ward is brought down by Devo Bridges. Yeah, and he does a great job winning inside right here against Grant Stevens, the right guard. Look at that bull rush. Slips inside. Good with his hands. Amazing. Mims, big hole, and he takes advantage. As he crosses midfield, finally cut down by Jaden Hicks. Nice job by Mims. You see that left side of the offensive line kind of just mow everybody down. And then, as you can see, defensively, Amani Marsh comes up. He stays way too wide as he's trying to fill that gap. First down play action. Hayner with plenty of time. Downfield wide open again is Pope. And Hayner is in the zone early on here, Greg. Bull mania. Joe Tessitore, Greg McElroy, Molly McGrath with you as Watson takes it straight ahead for Washington State. And still getting that extra push. Down the stretch in November, there aren't many people that play better than him. Here's Hayner. Can't escape the pocket that time as he was brought down by Brennan Jackson, who is top five in the Pac-12 in tackles for loss. Second and 15. Hayner. Unable to escape again. Quinn Roth. And then you're going to see guys drop out. This looks like a pressure look, which is already kind of getting your antenna up a little bit as a quarterback. But the right side of the offensive line just loses in some of their one-on-ones as the Cougars slid from their right to the Third down and 20. They go underneath to Mims. Mims able to get to the outside and pick it up and convert on a third and 20. And great design here on the middle screen to the running back. You get Mims, fake him out to the flat, bring him back. Then you got blockers downfield. Just a poor job there by Washington State. This is Mims. Mims gets the corner and gets in. Jordan Mims with help from Elijah Gilliams in the backfield. A four-yard touchdown run. And a really good job. You're going to see quickly as they kind of just fake that handoff inside to Gilliam, and he becomes the fullback lead blocker. Gets just enough. That means probably going to have someone vacate with a pressure. Here it comes. Third down and 11. Track down. That was David Perales. Mims slithers his way through. And past midfield is Jordan Mims, finally taken down by Marsh. They're down to nine, pressure off the edge. Ward, his jersey being dragged down by Evan Williams. We'll just work Mims here in the final half minute. And Mims, a very good run. He's had a few runs where he's been patient. Got to get it out quickly. Complete, but zeros are on the clock as they're inside the 10 with Remigio. And this just goes to show you, man, when Hayner, he thinks it's going to be pressure. He makes an adjustment, an audible at the line of scrimmage to a blitz, blitz adjustment. Not there. He makes the off-schedule play. Johnson presses up at the line. Now backs off. Cam Ward trying to find something here. Opening drive of the second half. Launches it downfield where it's intercepted. LJ early with the pick. Yep, so here's the running back. Here's the quarterback. 
And then there's a big mess that nobody can make any heads or tails of. And uh, Nikia Watson, is he in? He's in for a touchdown. And we got a game here, folks. Look at him punch it. You just called a touchdown. Abe. Wow. <laughs> And Mims with another big run. Jordan Mims, he has had himself a day. Mims' head is going to be running right underneath the goal. Mims line. again. Huge day for Jordan Mims. 29 here. It is a heck of a move right there. You see that right leg in the ground. Slides to his left. Shakes Brendan Jackson out of his shoe. First and goal, pick up the pressure. Hayner, shallow cross, gets it to Remigio, and Remigio brings it in for the score. Coming from the right, look at how he scans. Eyes to the left, works all the way back on the progression, gets it to Remigio, and he's one-on-one -on -one in a race to the front pylon. Just a thing of beauty. Knowing where you're at, you don't like the wheel, perfect. Get off it quickly. Things happen fast in the red zone. You get it to a shallow cross. Third and two, Ward. And he's going to be tackled well short. That would definitely translate to a franchise guy. Here's Mims on a direct snap as he tries to reach it in and gets in. Jordan Mims. His second rushing touchdown of the day. Great extension here. Does the ball cross the plane before the knee or the elbow is down? It appears as though it does. Kentucky in week two and now how the season ends up going. And here's Cam Ward. And Ward is going to be ripped down off the edge by Cam Lockridge, who is the defensive MVP of the conference championship game. Famously saying on the corner cat right here, just runs right by the running back Payne. Mims off the left side. Mims cannot be stopped today. Look at the left side, takes a second, holds up, holds up, gone. Just amazing to see his vision and to see how he can sense the disappearance and then the acceleration. There was terrific. There was some great play on defense as well. I mean, anytime you hold a good offense to six points, you're doing something right on that side of the ball. But the Mims was electric, really, from start to finish. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.